it is the morning of September 8th. It's about 8.15. And I just finished making a little bit of breakfast and some coffee. But uh, last night when I rolled into this spot, some uh, guys that I had met down in Stewart, who are, two of them are from Georgia, and one of them, uh, they actually picked up a couple of days ago hitchhiking. And he's a 19-year-old from Quebec. They ended up driving past and the camp spot that I'm at is huge so I told them you know as they were driving that uh, wouldn't be a problem to pull on up and get this amazing view that I have and so they did and we talked you know for the next couple of hours and they were making dinner and invited me to uh, eat with them so we were out here standing talking eating a nice warm meal and uh, had this amazing view of the glacier even though it got kind of dark. Uh, it's still really pretty in the dark. And just talking about adventures and uh, everything that we've been doing on this trip and just about a lot of different things that we have in uh, common, apparently, just by uh, being out here in the wild, basically. It's windy and you think that it'd be really cold, but it's actually really comfortable with just even a sweater. I wouldn't say it's warm, but uh, it's cloudy and not quite as nice as it was yesterday but uh, like I said it's not terrible it's not raining and uh, there's still opportunity for the Sun to come out so this was my view as I was making coffee and drinking coffee and got to wake up to that I didn't even put uh, my sides in the windows because I wanted to wake up and be able to see that all right, just introduce yourself. Hey, it's Nico, Nicolas Brassard, mon nom. I'm French Canadian from Quebec. I've been traveling for three, almost four months now. Uh, I was hiking the PCT from uh, around uh, Los Angeles. I uh, hiked 1200 kilometers in uh, California and Oregon. And I've been hitchhiking since uh, now I'm here. Like you can see, Salmon Glacier in, uh, in uh, uh, not Yukon, sorry. Uh, in We're in BC. British Columbia, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've been up to Dawson, Dawson City in Yukon. And uh, now I'm hitchhiking back to Quebec. I've met these guys. These David two gentlemen here. And Tom, two, bro and two brothers, they're, uh, brothers they're traveling from Georgia. in that camper. Yeah, living in that camper. So uh, now I've met you. <laughs> 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 and uh, yeah, keep traveling, keep traveling, hitchhiking, sleeping out there. And you want to be home in three weeks, in three all weeks. the way back in Quebec. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. we're on the other side of the country. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the goal. That's the goal. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. That's it. I can do it. Always how, can. How, how did you make it to uh, the trail? You hitchhiked all the way there uh, or did you fly? I oh, took okay, the plane so from there. Quebec to LA. Then since LA, I've uh, hiked and hitched and take a couple bus. Uh, I went also to Vegas, Dead Valley, uh, and Zion Park in Utah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I hike in the Mojave Desert in the South California and uh, Sierra Nevada in the big mountains in North California and uh, part of uh, South uh, Oregon. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Awesome. That yeah. is one heck of an adventure. <laughs> Big journey. <laughs> yeah, and it keeps going. Never end. <laughs> awesome. Can you get, introduce yourself quick? David Cummins, uh, nickname Goat. That's pretty much what I go in as. Uh, from Rockmart, Georgia, not too far from Atlanta. Left out um, May, May the 4th and uh, headed toward Alaska, but did the first month up in... Northwest Territories, Yukon, up around through there, all the way up to the Arctic Ocean. To Arctic Ocean and they did the, the Dempster in May. The Dempster up through there, just been traveling and then got into Alaska and um, met up with some people for the first month, going up and down the river with them and then took off back south down through there and ambled around for about a month or so and then had some Ken folk come in and spent a week then and did some more fooling around. Ran across this guy right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And they Coming picked up, him up, what was it, two years ago? Up, like the corner of a road section. And the next thing you know, he's been with us for what, about five or six days oh. now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Something yeah, like that. <laughs> Just having a good old time out here with nothing to do but what you want to do that's yeah. awesome no plan's the best plan <laughs> <laughs> and right. then this is his brother i'm tommy cummins i'm goat's brother 
and 40 years ago we made a trip similar to this but not quite and we're doing it as a 40 year anniversary and been everywhere he's been because we've been in the truck together and i met my little son right here yeah. <laughs> he's my son that i didn't have and having a wonderful trip and met joel and it just gets better and better that's awesome and don't want it to end that's yeah. cool yeah. and uh we stayed here last night with that view yeah and uh they're going to continue down the road a little bit and do some recon see what's uh, down that way but uh they are doing all their traveling in uh what is that a ram 2500 yeah and uh, any troubles on yeah. the road no not at all doing better than i am so uh yeah so it's far. awesome <laughs> these are a great group of guys glad i bumped into them uh, it's been an awesome experience. Yeah, you bet. Awesome. Uh, All right, so I decided I'm going to follow these guys down this road. We're going to see where it goes, check out the area, and we're going to even see if we can't find a way to get down to the glacier. So this morning when I woke up, it was kind of chilly and windy still not bad and now it's just completely opened up nice blue in the sky and just a great day to explore all the glaciers look at that down there it's just just amazing so we just found a, a road or they did and this should take us all the way to bottom area in a flat uh, wide open spot and then from there I think we can walk to some trails so we'll have to see what's down here so we are trying to figure out how to get to the other side of these ridges here And trying to find blueberries too. Yeah, blueberries. Finding blueberries all over the place. Found a bunch of them up there. So we parked over there, came up. And then look what's over this ridge. That is just, that's cool. Man, that is so cool. Yeah, yeah, we're good at gear. We know how to how to good gear with people. Save yourself. Mm -hmm. If you fell in one of those. Mm -hmm. And there they go. They're heading out. I'm going to stay one more night and check out uh, this view some more. But uh, that was a great group of guys. I really enjoyed spending my time with them. It was a great night, great day. Explored around here. It's already almost 4.30. So uh, they're just heading out. It's a long way back to get back to Stewart and uh, get back on the main road. But. Uh, Really cool exchange information. We'll keep in touch. Made some new friends. It's a really good time. And for now, I've got the Jeep backed up. I am going to open up the hatch to that view and just uh, chill out, edit some video, and stay like that till it gets too cold and I gotta close everything up. So there's my view, sitting in the back, looking out the hatch. That is hard to beat.
So as the sun moves along the horizon, it uh, changes the way the glacier looks. I just noticed for the first time that there's little pools of water in between the cracks that are really close to the surface. You can see the same thing all the way up there. But right now it is uh, time for dinner. So I'm heating up some water for some hot chocolate and uh, got an MRE all set up to go. And today is spaghetti with beef and sauce.